Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, June 3rd. The morning edition, I'm James Spann. Hey, the air turning drier around here today. That means humidity values will be lower and maybe a little mischief in the tropics early in the hurricane season. We'll take a look at uh, some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at about 5 o'clock. That's the uh, Coleman Skycam. Look at that daylight. Hard to believe it, but we are just a couple of weeks away from the summer solstice, our longest day of the year in terms of the number of daylight hours. After that, the days begin to get shorter. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam looking east and a peak at the Alabama Gulf Coast. If you're beachbound, weather down there looks fine for the week. No organized rain. There will be some uh, Gulf mischief, but the bulk of the rain from that feature will stay uh, south of our Gulf Coast, headed toward the peninsula of Florida. There's the uh, water vapor satellite view this morning. Yeah, you can see that drier air moving into uh, northwest Alabama. That'll be good. Set us up for a couple of nice days. You can see the uh, tropical disturbance in the Yucatan Channel and some convection over the Texas Panhandle. But most of the really uh, good wave energy is to the north, but there's clearly a long wave trough over the east, and the axis is moving east. Severe weather potential today for the western high plains. Tomorrow, where they don't want it, the southern plains. That'll include parts of Oklahoma and Kansas again, and on day three, parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. But organized severe weather not expected here anytime soon. Here's the rain for the next uh, five days. Obviously, the big numbers are down over the Florida Peninsula, places like uh, Miami, Fort Myers, Tampa, Orlando, Daytona could be soaked. Not that it's going to rain every minute of every day, but if you're headed to Disney World, take the rain gear this week. And around here, this has got rain amounts of about one inch. don't know if we see that much, but uh, we should see a bit of an increase in the number of showers and storms later in the week, especially by uh, Thursday and Friday. There's that little feature in the uh, Yucatan Channel. NHC is monitoring. And if anything develops, it will likely move northeast up toward uh, the I-4 corridor. Remember, the worst uh, rain will be along in uh, to the south or east of that track. And that puts Alabama on the dry side. Now, I'm not so sure this develops into a depression. One way or the other, it's the same effect. The wave, depression, whatever, it's going to wet down uh, central and south Florida. We'll check modeling. This is the... GFS, the OZ run, and this is valid at uh, 1 o'clock local time this afternoon. And the level here is at 500 millibars. Trough axis a bit east of here, upper low over Montana. Uh, sensible weather down below that. You can see the drier air nosing in here. And again, uh, today should be partly to mostly sunny. The dew points are coming down. The dew point up in the Shoals is down to 60 this morning, mid-80s. And no rain for the northern half of the state. Any showers confined to the southern counties. Tomorrow looks good, mostly sunny. We'll start the day down in the low 60s. The high should be in the mid to upper 80s. We note that little surface low in the Gulf. Wednesday, moisture begins to come back and we'll bring in a chance of widely scattered showers Wednesday as the humidity values creep up as well. Thursday, Again, uh, there could be a wave coming into the Florida Peninsula at that point. Uh, the GFS not really developing a, a deep low down there. And around here, we've got moist air in place, so we'll mention a chance of scattered showers and storms. Pretty much the same deal on Friday as a moisture axis is right over us. So uh, highs, mid to upper 80s, occasionally cloudy, scattered showers and storms. And of course, whenever we say scattered, it doesn't mean it's going to rain everywhere. But it will definitely rain in spots. That little uh, tropical feature is now off the Atlantic coast, uh, just east of Charleston. Saturday, as we start the weekend, uh, the bulk of the energy is north of here, and we've got this upper low, and there's uh, evidence that drier air tries to work in here, maybe a little surface boundary dropping down to the south. And uh, if this is right, the bulk of the day of Saturday would be just warm and dry with only a slight chance of a shower, highs in the upper 80s. And really the same thing on Sunday. That looks dry. The GFS is showing 89. So at the moment, the weekend looks rain-free here. Most of the active weather off to the west is a surface low near Kansas City. Let's check the end of the forecast on June 18th. Uh-oh, big old upper nasty 588 ridge over much of the southern states, pushing the storm track way up north. Now, 
Uh, we've seen a lot of different looks out here. We're not saying this is going to happen, but if that will happen, it's going to be pretty warm here. But really, we are under that uh, upper high, so there at least will be some showers around for some temporary cooling out there if this happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock or so this afternoon. If you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.